Fly by, fly guy on TV, the Fly Life Mix Show. If you're just tuning in, we're going in. we got about 40 minutes left on the show. Miss beautiful Tiffany is calling in today to give us the scoop on the ultimate catch, ladies and gentlemen. I know Tiffany got a busy schedule. She told me she's calling from England. So uh, it looks like the U.K. calling in. No, I think, hold on. Let me, let me check on Miss Tiffany. We got, we got uh, four numbers. 1,297, you're on the line. It's Tiffany. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on the show today. Oh, uh, that's what's up, Tiffany. I appreciate you calling in. You know, now normally I do the interviews halfway through the show, but I know you got <laughs> so much going on. You calling in early. You must have got a lot to say, so we're going to get to you now, Miss Tiffany. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I have um, a couple of things that I have to do today. But um, so, what do you guys want to know? What kind of questions do you have for me? Well, you, first, let's let's. Why don't we let you introduce yourself to the world? Now, I know you as Tiffany. I know a little background, and I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask not just questions pertaining to the show, Tiffany, but to your life. Girl, we want to know who you are. You feel me? This is a fly life <laughs> show, so we want to know what you're doing, and if you you really live and fly out there. But besides that, Tiffany, let the world know who you are. Well, um, before the show, I have, you know, a booking agency and a management company um, that I was working with. So I actually, it's kind of crazy because I, I worked with a lot of DH1 talent and um, girls from Bad Girls Club and Housewives of Atlanta and a bunch of people before I even did the show. So I've oh, been okay. in the industry, yeah, I've been in the industry for a minute um, and then I got, you know, the casting directors from the show hit me, and they're like, hey, we think you would be perfect for the show. And I already knew about the show because we were actually submitting talent for the show. So um, I told them no at first because I didn't want to do it because I was already doing what I'm doing now. And so right, they kept right. asking me and asking me and asking me, and then I was finally like, okay, I'll go to the audition. And if I get it on from the audition, then, you know, I guess it's just meant to be. So I went to the audition, and they loved me, of course. Who wouldn't love me? Yeah, um, <laughs> well, who couldn't love you? You feel me? <laughs> so, yeah, I did the audition. They chose me, and now you guys see me on TV on Sunday nights on VH1. Right, Sunday nights, like like the NFL, you just heavy. So, <laughs> Ms. Tiffany, when you say you book and you, you know, you work with other, um, you know, inspiring models and reality stars and people trying to do shows, you actually were in the game a little bit before being on TV. Like, you know, a lot of people, especially being a reality star now, Tiffany, I know you're experiencing this. A lot of people pose. It's a lot of fake promoters. That was a topic last week. A lot of people claim they can book you here and book you there, and it's, and they're faulty, and, they, and they really don't have, you know, a substantial resume or backing, but just a mouthpiece. But you was actually in the game, so you you really, you know, you're not bullshit. You was doing your thing. Right, yeah, there are a lot of people out there, a lot of promoters and stuff that are flaw. And sometimes it's not even that they're just phony or fake. It's the fact that they want to do something, and, you know, they have ambitions to do it, but they don't always have the funds to back it up. So it looks kind of bad on their, you know, part, but... My company, right. we deal with a lot of different promoters and a lot of different, you know, people who do events and stuff like that. So I'm pretty much in good standing um, with a lot of people. So I know who to work with and I know who not to work with. That's a plus. We might have to uh, email about it, about that. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, <laughs> let me get warned early. But, now, I know you're originally from Philly, correct? You relocated to Houston for college. Like, did, did college bring you to Houston, your track scholarship, or what? Yeah, I, um, I had a full track scholarship to the University of Houston and the University of Houston Honors College. Um, and so that's why I came from Philly and went to Houston. I've been living in Houston for the past seven years. Um, three years ago, I decided to take my ass out to L.A. and, you know, try the whole L.A. thing. So I went to L.A. and I've been back and forth between Houston and L.A. for the past three years. So I live in L.A. Uh -huh. and Houston. That's hot. Now, how was yeah. it working for a booking agency in Philly? Like, were you were you traveling? Like, how did you get into this booking thing? Like, what what made you go into that? Was that I cool didn't start the booking you? thing. I didn't start the booking thing until about um, a year and a half or so ago. So I wasn't doing that in Philly. I was like running track and being all American and all that stuff when I was in high school in Philly. So 
Um, I've recently picked up the booking agency thing, and I love it because I work with so many cool people, and um, I get to travel and do a lot of fun things, and it's so much fun, and I love it so much. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, speaking of this track stuff, you know, I run a little track too, Tiffany, so I did my research. <laughs> what is that? The Leonard Hill me? Did I run the 800? Did I what? I'm sorry. I didn't, hear the, I didn't hear the last thing you said. What did you say? I said, uh, the Leonard Hill me. Did you run a 215 and 800? Oh, in, at your age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, that was... Out there. Yeah, I ran, okay, so I, I ran the quarter hurdles. I got recruited to run the quarter hurdles. Um, I was the number one recruit out of my high school class um, going into college in the quarter hurdles. And mind you, I graduated with, like, Allison Felix and people like that. And I ran track for three years at U of H. Uh, wow. Yeah. So, so I mean, you yeah, I started running track when I was five. I started competing at a national level when I was six years old. Um, I've accomplished so much in track and field, it's sickening. Um, so I kind of put that to the side because I got hurt in college. Um, right, pretty bad. I heard. You were you yeah, looking to go pro bad. and you had a, a big injury. I, I'm, I'm, what happened? What you do? Yeah, I had a huge injury. It was, like, really devastating, actually. I got really depressed and all that stuff. My freshman year in college, um, I was just running, and I was – I had went back home for Christmas break, and I was training with my dad, who has been my coach all my life, and I ended up um, getting a stress fracture in my third metatarsal of my left foot. So, you know, I didn't really think anything of it because I had never been hurt like that before, so I kept running on it, kept running on it. I got back to school, and I was running on it still and limping really bad, and my coach was finally like, I'm taking you to the doctor. We're going to see what's wrong with you. So he took me, and we found out what happened, and they basically told me if I had been running on my foot another week or so, I would have broken my foot, and it would have been a wrap for me. So, wow. that yeah, it was really bad because I, I ended up having to sit out my freshman year. I, I had to register my freshman year in first season. Um, I came back outdoor season, which I shouldn't have done. I should have stayed out outdoor season too, but I, had, I came back. So my injury never healed the way it was supposed to, and I ended up running another two years after that. Um, and it just never healed. Even to this day, and that was like three or four years ago, even to this day I can still feel it like if I run on it too long. Oh, So that really horrible. messed me up. Yeah, that messed me up mentally because, I mean, being an athlete, especially I started at age five, being an athlete, it's right. kind of what you and do. It's probably never you had are. A yeah, and I, I never, never and I never really – well, no, no, I've, right. I've had, like, my hamstring pulled and stuff like that, like – Growing up, like growing when I was 12 years old and was on crutches for a while, but um, nothing to where I like I broke almost broke my foot. Like I couldn't fathom me breaking my foot from running. I've been running for so long. How did that happen? And that's why I kept running on it. But yeah, it really crushed me. Um, I ended up, you know, getting really depressed and started doing bad in school, which I never really did bad in school. I was in the honors oh, college at U of H. I got accepted, so. It was a bad situation for me, but, you know, I overcame all that stuff, and I decided, well, you know, what do you want to do if I can sacrifice?